All right, issue number one, there is no hot water. If you are a subscriber to my channel, thank you and welcome back. If you're not, please consider subscribing, it's free. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss upcoming videos. So we're gonna open up the breaker panel here, take a look at what we have. The breakers are not marked, at least I don't see one for a water heater. When you uh, come across something like this, when they're not marked, when you can't find the one for a water heater, you wanna look for a um, breaker that occupies occupies two spaces so it is a two pole occupies two spaces either it will have one handle for reset or two handles that they're joined together by some sort of a bar or um, some sort of a mechanical um, uh, device so here's one that's tripped we'll reset this one that most likely will solve the problem however if you find breakers that they're not tripped or at least doesn't appear to be tripped don't be fooled sometimes they're tripped and you can't tell so the best practice would be turn them off turn them back on and get that good snap as you turn them off turn them back on when you get that good snap that's a good sign the breaker is on doesn't mean the breaker is good but it tells you that the breaker is on. All right, there you have it. Here is a typical electric water heater, 240 volts. We have the upper panel and the lower panel. The upper panel is the one that has the main electrical connections coming into it from your circuit breaker, has a thermal disconnect, uh, so it has the main controls under it. This is the one that we're going to open up first. Now, a word from our sponsor, Red Disc Seal, inventors of bathtub spout rear seal. the power disconnected we're going to remove this top panel and then let that hang right there so inside remove this insulation if you have one all right Let's take a closer look. You'll see that there's a button here. All right. Let's see if you can get a lock on that button. So that's a thermal reset. First thing you do is to see if that needs to be reset. So by pushing this in, if it clicks, then that was the problem. That's not the problem. Next thing you do is, again, this is all with power off. Remove this cover. And then you will see that you have two wires, these two on the top. Between those two, you should get 240 volts. So the best way to test it is, again, with the power off, what I would do is remove one of these connections like that. Get it out of the way. With the power back on, I'm gonna measure voltage between this wire and this terminal. And looks like I'm getting hardly any voltage. So since the breakers are not tripped, most likely I have a bad breaker. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. So here's a dual breaker that uh, are attached to each other by this joiner bar. So sometimes you'll see that one of them could be tripped. Let's see if I can do it or not here. One of them is tripped and the other one is not. This happens right there. 
Eh, this happens right I can't get it but sometimes you'll see that one is tripped and the other one's not so what you want to do is reset both of them and make sure both of them engage with uh, some force right there okay so that is a um, dual breakers that's attached by this bar that goes in between them okay water heater could be something like this make sure both are totally engaged and if one's tripped your water heater will not work at all 